What's going on guys, Gilly Writes Comics here, Underground Gilly, Geeky Gilly, No Shill Gill. I've been posting a lot more videos within the past week and a half, and I've seen a lot of comment activity on my videos, which I think is pretty cool. So again, for you guys checking out my stuff, thank you so much. First and foremost, I am not a content creator, I'm a comic book creator, and this channel here... I just want to create a place where I can just talk about stuff that I enjoy talking about or stuff that truly resonates with me. I'm not going to cover any little bitty thing that comes out. I'm just going to speak on stuff that I enjoy. I definitely want to talk a lot about the Resident Evil 1 remake because, again, it hasn't been officially announced, right? It's been rumored. Sometimes some of these rumors turn out to be true. But in one of my videos, I've been called a faker in a way. I've been called a content creator. It's been told that I am not a true Resident Evil fan. Guys, I'm just going to say this. For anyone that wants a certain video game to come out, that doesn't mean you're not a fan of something. Or that doesn't mean that... I mean, I don't know. I, for one, am excited about the idea of a Resident Evil 1 remake. For those of you who aren't excited about it, you have your right to be not excited about it. I got my right to be excited about it. Does my excitement mean I'm not a Resident Evil 1 fan? Here we go. Let me show you my, I don't want to, maybe you could call it my holy grail of Resident Evil 1 games, but let's just say that the original Resident Evil 1 for the PlayStation is right here. Ripped cover and all, I never replaced it, but again, this is the, the PlayStation game of the original. I still got it. I could never sell it. I never will. <laughs> also played the director's cut, owned the director's cut, love that they changed some stuff, love that, you know, you can do certain things a different way, and they, they changed item placement and stuff, they had the DualShock support, again, so could this be considered a remake? No, it was like a, just a, a director's cut, I was all over that. I don't even know where the heck the case ha happened for this one, but this is one that I enjoyed playing, Resident Evil Survivor. And now let's take it to Resident Evil 2. I favor the Dreamcast version. I know I'm crazy like that, right? I still play my Dreamcast. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, again, Dreamcast version. Beautiful. And then Resident Evil Code Veronica. So here's the thing. Some people are upset that Resident Evil 1's getting a remake. It's not official yet, right? It's rumored, and I would love that to happen. Are there other remakes deserving? Should Resident Evil 0 get a remake before Resident Evil 1? Should Code Veronica get a remake? Resident Evil Outbreak? Dino Crisis? Yeah, I agree. They should all get a remake, right? I'm 100% on board with that. The fact that I want a Resident Evil 1 remake doesn't mean that I care nothing about the other games. Not at all. The GameCube remake is a masterpiece. But let's not forget that that came out 22 years ago. That's over two decades ago. Controls are antiquated now. Graphics have leaped beyond measures since then. We've seen a PS3 cycle come and go. We've seen a PS4 cycle come and go. We're in the heyday of a PS5 cycle. Not to mention the 30th anniversary is looming. I'd say... Yeah, it's a great time for a remake. If you look at the success of Resident Evil 2 Remake, right? If you look at the success of the Resident Evil 4 Remake, right? Going back to Resident Evil 1 on the 30th anniversary isn't necessarily a bad idea. Now, if it does come out, it would be coming out in 2026, okay? That'd be 24 years since the GameCube release. And if it does very well, if it sells incredibly well, you already know that's going to open the door for other potential remakes. I mean... Capcom's a business that wants money. I did come across this other article. I mean, it's saying all the right things. Resident Evil 1 Remake to have a slower pace will further expand on the game's lore. Exputer, I don't know too much about Exputer. Don't know how reliable their sources are. So again, the Resident Evil Remake hasn't been announced. Let's look at the story highlights in a nutshell what this is saying. This is saying that more details about the rumored Resident Evil 1 Remake have already come out. The title will have a slower pace and an expanded story. Each zombie will have a unique model. Okay, that's the crappable capabilities, right? We already played the original Resident Evil on uh, PlayStation. I think you had, what, three or four different zombie types from the, the ones we encountered in the mansion, then the ones in the laboratory. If you go to the GameCube model, right, the GameCube had the crimson head zombies, which I thought were cool, but again, wasn't more than a few different models, if that. The enemies will be spongier. Then in the R2 remake, maybe really more zombie-like, right? You can feel them coming at you and you're wasting your bullet clips. You really need to make those headshots count or they won't go down. 
I think that'd be cool. I think if they really do it where a headshot is the only way it will go down, like true zombie lore, and you keep on missing, like, dude, that would really be cool. we never seen that. If you look at the RE2 remake, if you just pump the zombie full of lead, like, he'll eventually drop. If it's to the point where you shoot him in the new remake and he doesn't go down except with a headshot, that would be cool. All right, so let's see what they say. As noticed by the Twitter handle, the personal source of Biodeclop has revealed additional details about the rumored Resident Evil remake. The insider has uploaded a video discussing all the details that have come out. They mentioned that the entry is codenamed Biohazard RE1 for now, and they'll have a slower pace than the original. Additionally, it will further expand on the original lore. The original lore is amazing. Remember, they're doing these experiments in the Arclay Woods for how long, right? I mean, and Wesker's engineering stuff there because he's been working for Umbrella. So, they, I mean, you, there's more you can do here. Of course there is. Of course there is. Each zombie will have a unique model due to the limited number of enemies in the remake. However, more bullets will be required to kill them off than in the RE2 remake. Okay. Different third-person camera will be utilized, which also reflects the game's slower pace. And last, so there'll be a different third-person camera. That's interesting. And lastly, there will be no pre-rendered backgrounds, which, of course, if we're doing the RE engine, like, again, there shouldn't be any pre-rendered backgrounds. We can expect a huge improvement in the visuals of the game. So if we go back to the GameCube remake, all that was pre-rendered backgrounds. Okay, now we're going, we're embracing the RE engine and we're jumping into this new remake territory with this new engine. So sure, everything should be upgraded. I mean, let's see. Capcom wants to make the Resident Evil 1 remake much darker. I'm all for darker. And for me, how do you make it darker? It's already dark. Oh, the masterpiece of GameCube. I'm not taking that away, but I'm just saying this is a vision brought with today's graphics, right? So again, can it be made darker? Sure, it could be, be made darker. If again, you only headshots kill the zombies, that's one way. The ambiance and how they're going to bring this to life, the setting, how they're going to actually interpret the Spencer Mansion in this graphics, right? That is a big key into how they can make it darker okay and also let's look at if you looked at the original playstation version of resident evil kind of had fatalities death scenes you would get decapitated by the hunter okay in the gamecube version the hunter never decapitates you it like it almost seems like it hits your jugular and you just b a bunch of blood spurts out but if you keep like gruesome <laughs> fatalities death scenes in there i believe like yeah that's making it darker it's making you not want to succumb to those nasty deaths right so like i believe that's also another way to make it harder the addition of crimson heads will also add another level of intrigue like in the remastered version all in all it's best to keep our expectations in check for the time being yeah who knows how much fun they can have with crimson heads okay you're telling me you tell me if you don't really burn the body of the zombie it's gonna come back after you just done shot it in the head? What? Is that going to be for all the zombies or certain zombies? So the game's existence was revealed nearly a week ago by multiple insiders, adding a layer of credibility to the otherwise unconfirmed details. Overall, I suggest taking the rumors with a huge pinch of salt. The anonymous email received by Biohazard Declassified could just be a sham at the end of the day. Again, they have yet to announce it, but insiders leaking stuff is a great way to generate buzz. I'm crossing my fingers hoping that it does come because, again, I love the game so much. I will not complain about having a remake made after 22 years since the GameCube original. I'm not going to complain about that. Do I do think there should be other Resident Evil remakes? Sure. But to celebrate and commemorate the 30th anniversary of one of your premier franchises, it actually makes sense to do a remake and release it on the 30th anniversary. Again, if it sells well, it will open the door to seeing a Code Veronica remake, I believe. Perhaps a Resident Evil Zero remake to a Resident Evil Outbreak remake. Who knows? All in all, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to stay close to this and any kind of... I'm, I'm excited and let's see if... I'm going to... I can't wait till Capcom officially announces the remake. Because of that, again, nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is set in stone. So again, guys, if you like Resident, okay. So let me know what you think. Why do you hate the Resident Evil remake so much? Why does it burn your blood? Why don't you want a Resident Evil 1 remake in Spencer Mansion with these new graphics? Why not with these modern controls with 
the ability to to capitalize on the on the lore. Why not? Is it because you think the GameCube was perfect 22 years ago? We don't need to see it again. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Gilly writes comics here. I happen to create comics because, again, storytelling is one of my passions. So if you happen to read comic books, definitely consider taking a look at My Galactic Rodents of Mayhem Universe. I got a new spinoff crowdfunding on Kickstarter right now, and there'll be a lot more to come. Anyways, till next time, guys, this is Gilly. Geek out.